Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another Cricut project. So today we are going to make this pretty Valentine's Day sign slash wreath. I was going to put it on my front door. I really like how it looked over my nose. So we made a bunch of peony flowers with my Cricut. I will leave a link to that video down below because it's not hard, but it is a little more involved. So I did that in a separate video. And then today we are going to be assembling all the flowers and all the leaves, painting our sign actually, um, and putting the leaves in and just putting it all together. I don't know why I've made similar flower projects before where you kind of just squish all the flowers in, um, but I've made them out of felt and they were super easy. Fitting all the flowers in the right configuration so that it covered the heart properly actually took me a bit more brain power than I thought it was going to. So if you want to see that whole process, this is definitely a trial and error kind of video. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So we are going to get started with our pretty peony Valentine's Day sign or wreath. Now this is just a um, chalk heart that I picked up from the dollar spot at Target. It has a chalkboard on the other side, but I don't want to ruin that with paint. And I may use this sign in the future for something else. So instead, I'm going to use the back for this project. And I'm just gonna paint it a pink so that um, any empty space that shows through from the flowers won't be this brown doesn't have to be perfect because hopefully not much of it will show. a very scientific way to do it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not a huge fan of the first pink color though, so I'm gonna kind of blend this up a slightly different one. And hopefully this will be a little closer to the peonies I have. And if not, uh, the goal is that it will just kind of be a little more varied. Bryant. Yeah, my dogs think it's a good idea too. I have plexiglass down on my desk, so I mean, it's fine, but I still don't like getting paint on it. That's looking pretty good, actually. Not a perfect match, but much closer to these than before. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with myself right now. So is Lily. We're going to give this a little bit to dry and then we will finish it up with the flowers. All right. So while that dries, it's just craft paint from craft store. I've got the whole pack this year. That's like 48 colors or something. 
I'm going to go ahead and add some Velcro to the back of my flowers. Now this step is completely unnecessary. You could definitely just straight up um, hot glue these straight onto your heart. But like I said, I think I'm going to use the other side down the road for something else. Not Valentine's Day related. So I am going to Velcro my hearts or my hearts, my peonies on here. That way I can take them off, flip it over and use the sign for something else if I like. And if you want to see how I made these, I will leave a link below. I have a whole video on how to cut them with your Cricut and then fold them and glue them together. So these little Velcro pieces do not want to come off. There we go. Go ahead and just put, put them on the middle of the backs here. And there we go. Now he's ready to go. I'm going to do the rest of the flowers. You know, actually, I'm going to wait a minute. I thought I'd be proactive in doing this, but I kind of want to set these out and see where each one's going to go. And if I have Velcro on them, that won't work. So I'm just going to do the backs and then I'll put the sticky parts on um, as we go. So for now, just, just that step. Lily, what is wrong, sweetheart? Mommy's busy doing stuff that's not petting you. I understand. It, it would upset me too. Really. Y you should probably get a manager. Move this one out of the way since it is double sticky. Pink. I'm just gonna have to like start at one side and kind of work my way down maybe. Of these make it so that a true heart heart is going to be a little hard um, and that's okay that's why kind of we, we did the background
I think we're gonna have to just start doing it. But this is pretty good. Um, we can definitely squish them more together. And then once we get them all on here, I have these leaves to kind of fill in the gaps and things. So. All right, y'all, so unfortunately the Velcro is not working. And the fact that, I mean, it basically came off the backs of all of these without any damage or very little damage on like three of them, the Velcro is just not sticky enough. That stinks, but it is what it is. So we're going back to our original plan, which is hot glue. And we're just gonna hot glue everything together and then either there will just be peonies on the back of this sign if I want to use the chalkboard part, or I will rip them off. <laughs> Probably we'll just have peonies on the back because I want to use this every Valentine's Day. It's super cute. Or, you know, maybe I'll just not use the chalkboard part. This was a $3 chalkboard, so gonna not worry so much about keeping it perfect I'm wasting all my good velcro trying the velcro was probably more expensive than the chalkboard at like five bucks but I use the velcro usually on my felt flowers and I'm not sure that it's sticky enough I, uh, I bought a different brand than normal and I might just have to cut my losses with this pack and go get my normal brand It was only like five bucks, so I mean, I'll live either way. Laying them out helped, but as we're putting them on, I can I can squish them together a lot more than I could when I was laying them out. And so that's changing the shape of the layout just a little bit, but 
it's okay. Just keep rolling with it and squishing them in. And like I said, at the end, we'll, we will add uh, leaves or flowers where we need to. I'm hoping I can add one like here. That would be like the perfect roundness. I think if I add one right here, it'll work. Let's hope, because this is definitely not going to come off the paper without damaging it. Yeah. Perfection. All right, let's go over here. Obviously, I have to put a, a little one or a leaf maybe in here. to be a leaf spot so let's go ahead and just put this one here as close kind of as we can as soon as I started to glue that I was like um I should have like placed the rest of these to double check first but yeah no hindsight and all that jazz I think this was actually supposed to be a flower spot. Aha, okay. Definitely, I mean, it's hot glue, but still. Got a plan. I tell you, I'm gonna have to go play with those dogs for a while after this because they, it's not like they're being tortured, but just in the back room without me, they've got a whole room to themselves with all their toys and food and water. And then they've got a whole backyard to play in. And usually that's more than enough, but not thrilled today for whatever reason. Of this one because he's not going to touch in the middle. And that should touch enough things that hopefully it'll glue it in place. Snug it down, snug the bug in a rug. Okay, now the question is do I add this one? I think I'm gonna leave this one off. I will use him for something else. So let's see. I think we need one up here. I think that one that I can like sneak underneath. Yeah, that's pretty. They don't all need to be up and popping. I'm trying to keep that heart shape. So that should help fill in the heart shape. I need at least one down here. 
love, I love those dogs. I love those dogs. Okay, so I just kind of popped little things all around to see what I liked. I think I like this the best. I did cut up one big leaf for this, this, and this pieces. These I just tucked in the petals. And I don't think I'm gonna glue them in. I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes. But I think this is a good amount of sparkle. Hard to say, because I like a lot of sparkle. But you know, you gotta you gotta let the flowers talk too when you gotta keep the shape and yada yada yada. Not glue on the plexiglass. Alright, this one needs a dab of glue. This one needs a dab of glue. And I think that is it. Now, I could cut out like Happy Valentine's Day or Love and put words right here, because this is all flat. But this is pretty cute. I love all the party foil. I do think I might paint this at least on one side so that it goes better. But all in all, let's go hang it up and see what it looks like. All right, y'all, I hope you love it. I will zoom you in really close so that you can get a good look at the finished product. And you may notice, I was thinking about, like I told you, adding Happy Valentine's Day. And then I realized it has a little key and it's for Valentine's Day. So I actually put love is the key. And I just literally typed that into Correct It Design Space and cut it out with my maker the same way I cut out all of the leaves. I just picked a pretty font. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that the font is big enough for the Cricut to cut easily and that you can connect all the letters because otherwise you're gonna be hot gluing each letter on individually and that's a hot mess. Nobody, we don't need to do that. This is way cuter. So I hope you liked this project. I wasn't sure Last night it was like three in the morning when I finished curling all the flowers and I couldn't get them to work on the heart and then the Velcro wasn't working and and honestly I was not sure this project would ever be done or if it was done that I would like it but it turned out really cute. There's a slim chance I'll ever turn around and use that chalkboard because this side's so cute. I mean, and while it is for Valentine's Day, my whole house is pink. I could leave it up here wrap. Who needs a chalkboard when you have cricket peonies? I hope you liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell so you get notifications for all of my cricket resin home projects coming up. Always doing something around here. And just see you next week. Bye. Thank you.